Welcome back guys, this is Chad with IREG Veteran 88. Today we have a special treat. We're going to be shooting a Henry survival rifle with a few upgrades. Let's take a couple of shots and we will talk a little bit about this very, very fun little rig. Running some CCI mini mags. All right. Ah, one more shot and I could have got that popper over. <laughs> Let's try some CCI uh, standard velocity real quick. Pretty quiet, don't you think? Hey, that's real quiet. All right, guys. Thank you, sir, for loading magazines. Eric's magazine over here. Ferry. He's my magazine fairy today. So this is a, you guys may have seen the video we've done before on the Henry Survival Rifle, okay? Well, I had KG made suppressors build me a custom integrally suppressed barrel for the Henry. If you guys have ever seen like the old Papoose rifles and stuff, you know, they have the perfect condition for a really cool integrally suppressed 22 that's semi-automatic and it's just a ton of fun. And I thought it'd be neat to have one for an AR-7. And uh, this AR-7 here, I got through Big Daddy Unlimited. And um, originally, what I'd planned on doing was using the KG made barrel on the Israeli AR-7 pilot survival rifle. Um, this is a very, very collectible rifle. And after much thought and deliberation with myself, I decided not to run the integral on this because the uh, barrel shank on the receiver is a little bit on the snug side and I didn't want to modify the rifle at all. So I decided to leave this one stock and then just pick up another base rifle uh, to run the integral on. And this one just has a uh, rail system from AR7.com and then we've got a uh, little Trigicon RMR. Uh, this is one of the Type 2s on top here. And it's just a very fun little rig. Um, if you guys remember the video we did on the KG Made EOS 22, it's an integrally suppressed barrel for the 1022 series of rifles. And I've got one on a takedown. And basically you've got just a small four to five inch rifle portion. And then the rest of the barrel itself is a monocore suppressor baffle stack with a titanium tube over the top of it. And uh, this thing will keep bulk pack supersonic ammo uh, at a subsonic uh, velocity range. So you're running like mini mags through there they're normally about 1,250 feet per second. They're running just over 1,000 feet per second out of this barrel, so they're still staying nice and quiet. It will run standard velocity ammunition. Uh, these guns are not really good for running subs out of. We found that uh, you know they kind of choke up on some of the subsonic offerings, and we did try a couple of CCI offerings, and we've shot some other subs through here, and they just don't like it very much. But run some hot ammo through there, and you're good to go. But overall, just a neat little rig, and we thought we'd show it off, just come out here and just... Uh, you know, we'll have a little bit of fun with it today. I'm gonna pop a few sodas with some of these mini mags because these are uh, 36 grain hollow points. So let's take a couple of shots. If you guys want some more details on the Henry survival rifle just by itself, go check out our old video on it. And we will be doing a video on the Israeli AR-7 because these are really, really cool guns. Very, very rare and just very obscure. Not a lot of people have ever heard of those. Let's take out a couple of soda pops. All right. <laughs> oh, it never gets old. Woo! Water the lawn. Oh no, he's swinging. There we go. <laughs> All right. So no, no last round bolt hold up on, on the on the Henry here. He's got some more mini mags. And these are um. These are the original uh, Henry magazines. Uh, these are eight shot mags. Um, we did try some of the old original AR-7 mags that I had with my Israeli gun here. These do not feed and function very well in this gun at all. And we also did try a Charter Arms magazine uh, that belongs with another vintage AR-7 rifle. Uh, this did not work as well. It seems that the newer Henrys, they, they really do require the special magazines. They do have a little bit different feed profile and they have a um, small little wire just to kind of help guide that projectile up into the chamber. So, but these, or these magazines have been uh, very, very reliable so far, I think. Wouldn't you say? Yep. All right, take out the rest of our sodas. I think it's a dimensional thing between the two. Yep. 
smacks it good. Well, that one didn't have much fizz left in it, did it? <laughs> oh, oh no, I'm all loot. All right, one more. We'll shoot some stuff longer range. Go ahead. Let's see if I can just take the cap off of that one sitting down there on the right. Whoa, there man, you did you it. hear that sucker? <laughs> <laughs> I guess hitting it up there with all that air, the air pocket in there. All right, let's hit it at the bottom. <laughs> all right, got him over. Ah. All right, Chad, we know that, uh, that the Mini Mags work well. I'm gonna give you uh, some of these CCI cleans. Yeah, little poly polymer guys there. Yeah, so these are, um, these are new from CCI. So these bullets have, the, the Supersonic have a red tip on them. And uh, it's basically like a, a polymer coating to help keep the lead um, from depositing in your suppressors. And you know, also just normal rifles too, just keeping them a little bit cleaner so you don't have so much lead buildup and all. So one of these days, maybe we'll do a little test where we you know, shoot a pile of 22 through a suppressor and see how dirty it gets with this stuff. Oh, yeah. Be real curious. Um, speaking of the suppressor itself, we did meter this thing earlier because it seems real, real quiet. And uh, at the muzzle, the thing was hovering right around the 115 to 116 mark. And at the ear, just like most 22 semi-autos, talking like 123, 124 at the ear. But a very, very, very good suppressor. Man, just a cool little rig too. All right, let's see. Shoot some stuff at long range. So these are the CCI clean, the supersonic stuff. Zero changed a little bit from the mini mags. Let's I was try to say it looks like those minis are a little more accurate too. They seem to be. Let's try our uh, gone back there at 35 yards here, the D28. Yeah, can't say this barrel seems to like those. One more mag of those and sure. I'll load you up some standards yeah. too. Let me have uh, one mag of mini mags real quick because I'm gonna shoot maybe a group on that target again with the mini mags. Got it. Well, this gun doesn't like the CCI clean. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get a headshot on that. Place, yep. man. 50 yards. I mean, up close, it's accurate. Yep. If you're gonna pop a squirrel or something like that, it'd probably be okay. All right, those are mini mags. Okay. I'm gonna shoot these on that gong at 35 just to see what they do. Gotcha, I'll load you up another mag. I get to play mag fairy today, guys. We all have our days. <laughs> we all have our days. <laughs> all right, let's see. That's all right. I'm gonna aim just a little bit lower on that gong and see where I'm at here. Yeah, go ahead. Oops. I mean, seems to be reliable. About the size of like a baseball. See, remember guys, like, just like I talked about in the EOS video that we did a while back, this may look like a rifle, okay? But the barrel length is more indicative of a handgun, okay? You're talking a four to five inch barrel, all right? So you gotta think handgun accuracy, not, you know, match grade rifle accuracy. So there's gotta be some expectations, you know, that are, that are there and the EOS will easily print silver dollar size groups at about 75 yards with good ammunition. So just keep that in mind. <clears throat> and 22s are real picky too. You might have one gun that loves a certain type of ammo, but then you put it in one of your other rifles and it just absolutely hates it. I mean, it's just the nature of 22s, you know? All right, let's yeah, see. and you add, add a conversion kit to that for a, full, a machine gun kit and it makes it even worse. Bye. Oh yeah. All right, <laughs> we won't see. go there, that's another video. No. <laughs> All right, let's go up close here. Cute. I mean, good enough to kill a squirrel. Gets him out of there. Yeah. All right, let's go 75 yards. Whoop! 
<laughs> Sail some in there just for fun. About the size of a grapefruit, Chad. Let me have a. All right, that's another mag of mini mags. Let me have standards. some standards. Because um, the thing is, when you're not, when you're running high velocity ammo through this thing, obviously you're going to get more expanding gas and everything. It's going to be a little bit louder. Uh, when I metered earlier, I did meter with the standard velocity stuff, and it is very, very quiet, and it's still cycled. So we'll see if it'll cycle for the camera. All right, 75 yards again, just for fun. <clears throat> High plate accuracy it's getting a little warm so yeah it is all right standard velocity so this is uh, out of the box out of a full-size rifle talking around the 1050 to 1070 mark so out of a short barrel like this probably running right around a thousand give or take all right let's try these up close here <clears throat> aim for our bolt over here and guys this is not a match grade rifle the trigger is like a staple gun like literally, it's it's a pretty awful trigger, but it's a survival rifle, you know. They're priced pretty dang reasonable too. Oh yeah. Ah! <laughs> right All right, I'm done. Right on the bolt. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do that again. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was me. It likes that slower ammo. Yep. So just like with most 22s, you're going to find that you're going to have better accuracy with lower velocity ammunition. Like match grade ammo is usually subsonic or standard velocity. So you got a clean plate over there on the left. Yeah. Let me shoot another group real quick. I'll try to just get a yeah, few and shots. What I'm loading now is the last of the uh, standard velocity. Okay. Cool. I think uh, folks at home get the idea. They do. So just a fun little rig, man. We thought we'd bring you all along for the ride. Oh, right over the top. Getting a little too fast. Last mag. Okay. Last magazine. All right. Let's kind of go down the line here. Oh, no. One failure to extract. Very cool, guys. Well, there you have it. AR7, integrally suppressed from KG Made. Pretty cool little setup. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video today and this look at this, uh, you know, kind of quirky little neat rifle and it's still like super lightweight, you know, but uh, the only bad thing about this is can't exactly fit the integral with the rail system and everything in the buttstock. Stay tuned, stay tuned. But anyways, guys, I want to give a special shout out to our Patreon supporters and those of you who purchase man cans and other merchandise over there on the uh, website. You guys really keep us going here. All those funds go right back into supporting the content that you guys see produced here on the channel. Until next time, stay tuned. Much more on the way.